What is up guys, Poldu who Poldu here bringing you Advanced Wars 2. What a mouthful, not at all. I'm just bad at speaking. Hello, <laughs> a new Advanced Wars LP. Finally, after I think four years, I was looking up, I think it was March 30th of 2017 is when I originally played through Advance Wars 1. I knew I wanted to do Advance Wars 2, just didn't know when I would get to it. Now is the time, uh, and I'm excited for it. Uh, a lot of you may not know, Advance Wars is actually the reason I got into Fire Emblem. You know, there's a Fire Emblem Pokemon channel. Um, I was doing it again, a good intro, but... Um, it was one of the first, uh, it really the first strategy game I think I've ever really played uh, on Game Boy Advance. I loved both of them, but I was so little, like I didn't play campaign. I think I just kind of randomly messed around. Um, I didn't do anything too serious. I don't know the story of either of the games. Uh, well, I know the story of one now, but uh, it was those two. And then I picked up Radiant Dawn on a Best Buy shelf was like, oh, this looks like Advanced Wars, sick. Not even knowing they're made by the same people. But Advanced Wars has always been very near and dear to my heart. Um, and I eventually want to play through all the games. Uh, I know the, I think the latter two games in the series are more polarizing for people. I want to play them anyway. Uh, so we'll get there eventually. But right now, Advance Wars 2 Campaign. Now, after the first LP, I got some comments saying there were some extra maps I missed out on, like with some decisions and whatnot. Uh, so I did a little bit of get digging, and I did find that along the, I have a list of all the campaigns, uh, missions rather, uh, which I guess kind of the same uh, with how this game is structured. There are two, optional maps or something so there's something called a laboratory map in a neotank mission but i can't really pinpoint what those mean uh the first one to pop up is mission four so i am all ears if any advance wars uh veteran still looming around um wants to fill me in on that because i would like to see every single mission um but I think it's time to get into campaign. I, uh, real quick, if this is the first video of mine you're seeing, how you doing? I kind of said before, but I'm Poldu. I do primarily Pokemon and Fire Emblem content. Uh, I tend to suffer a lot. Doesn't matter how good or bad I am at a game, RNG loves to just ruin my day. Um, but I also try not to take anything too seriously. So, especially with the strategy game side of things that I do here, um, this isn't like Fire Emblem where there's permadeath for characters or any of that, but uh, I'm still not gonna take things too seriously. Just sit back, relax. As long as there's fun to be had, that's all that matters here. Um, but the prologue, Macro Land, where the Black Hole Army's first Iron Fist has crushed all of opposition. Elsewhere, their grip is tightening. Macroland. Okay, so I believe I was I was trying to get a refresher since it has been a few years since the first Advance Wars. Uh, I think that was in a different world region. I don't I don't don't think it was called Macroland. Um, but I remember it was Andy being set up by Black Hole, which was the big reveal. Uh, it was Sturm and his whatever weird voodoo cloning something or another. Uh, and then they were the main enemy. So this one, Black Hole Rising, of course we got more Sturm. Hawk, come to me. By a command, my Lord Sturm. How goes the Macro Land invasion? Excellent, my Lord. The other COs have just completed their operation. Our objective is clear, is it not? To establish a base of black hole operations here on War's World. Oh, maybe, okay. I think War's World, maybe that's the whole... Okay, so two different location names. Yes. Recently, I instigated a great conflict between the countries here. 
I sought to conquer them all amidst the unrest. I failed. That was in Cosmoland. Was it not, my lord? Okay, more names. I will not make the same mistakes again. This time, I will have a base and invade at my leisure. To that end, I need materials and money. Do not worry, my lord. The COs have been given their orders. They will transport all that you desire from the lands they seize. God, I gotta I love Sturm's design. He's the villain, but like, he's so cool looking. <laughs> I don't even care. Do not fail me. Never, my lord. Uh, so structure-wise, you can probably tell by the title, and if you watched the first one all those years ago, or if you're curious and want to go back in the meantime, uh, these are all going to be one mission is one episode, regardless of how long it takes, or how short it takes, when that mission is done, that's when the episode is over. Uh, the Orange Star, hey Sammy, Nell said you needed to see us. Good old Sammy. Uh, Andy, Max, thanks for coming so quick. And Max, you're not gonna believe this, but the Black Army's back. You've gotta be kidding. Didn't they learn their lesson the last time? I guess not. Let's go get them. Uh, where are they? Slow down, Andy. The enemy's not here in Cosmo Land. Huh? Well, where are they? In our world, in War's world, there's seven, several continents, right? Okay, this will explain the geography, which will help some of my confusion. Really? Continents? Andy learned a new word. You twerp, you don't know anything, do you? Hey, you're not calling me dumb, are you? <laughs> I'm just saying that people who don't know anything don't know nothing. Knock it off you two. This is neither the time nor place for that. According to Nell, Macro Land is the focus of the conflict, but they've been spotted in other countries too, including here in Orange Star. Oh, Orange Star is the country? I always just consider them factions. You know, Orange Star, Blue Moon, uh, I forget what green, no, Yellow Comet, Green, whatever. And Blue Moon and Yellow Comet? Yep. And Green Earth, there it is, as well. I wonder if they're mobilizing to push the Black Army back too. Oh, okay, oh, I see, I see, okay, so, I already forgot. It's War's World Planet, and the faction name... Okay. It'll be like a family reunion. Andy, this is War. Do you think that's anything to be excited about? No. But we'll get to see everyone again, and that makes me happy. Come on, let's go. Hold on, Andy. A Andy? He's gone. Ugh. Well, we all gotta go sometime, right? At least he's got the right attitude. No sense getting all bummed out before the battle even begins. You know, it's been so peaceful around here lately. I just know Nell is gonna want to give us all a little refresher. Of course, uh, oh, a refresher course on basic combat ops. But that's fine. After all, you can never have too much training. Oh, great. Just what I wanted. Another boring lecture. <laughs> Which I can appreciate because, I, again, it's been a bit... I mean, I've played Wargroove since then, and that was essentially Advance Wars. Uh, take out Black Hole's troops. Easy enough. Hey, why aren't the Orange Star Lines broken? Who is this guy? There, oh, who is this guy? What is this octopus in a tube? They're, they're stronger than we had anticipated. I don't want excuses, I want victory. More troubles, sir. We have reports of a new Orange Star CO arriving. Lord Flack. Flack. Okay. If we continue, we're only going to take more casualties. Nothing else to do. Use the troops we got left. This Orange Star CO, what's he like? That man's chin. Mission one, clean up. All right. God, I'm so excited to get into this. Oh, look at this infantry. They're like two people. Oh, okay. We've taken care of the majority of Black Hole's horses here. So this is Nell they were talking about. This is the lady we saw on the, the main menu. The, like, tutorial character, or if you're familiar with Fire Emblem, essentially an Anna, just she doesn't run a secret shop, but, you know. Uh, this Black Hole army is proving to be quite dangerous. Commander, we've located 
they gave a face to a random infantry unit? That's kind of cool. We've located the remaining enemy units. We're preparing to launch pursuit. Understood. I'll take it from here. Nell, what's the matter? Are you okay? Oh, Andy. Sorry for the sudden call. Where are the bad guys? Settle down. I've wiped out most of the enemy. Uh oh. I was hoping I'd get a chance to show off for you. Don't be foolish, Andy. This is no training exercise. You might be a mechanical wizard, but you still need patience with soldiers. I don't think you're a co as combat ready as you'd like to believe. You can take over for me, but I'm gonna give you instructions as you go, and I want you to listen. Yes, ma'am. Let's get started. The main thing I always remember about Advance Wars is, com especially compared to Fire Emblem, is this is definitely an offensive-based game, where Fire Emblem, you can play very defensively, and it usually rewarded. Uh, the orange units are under your command. Your enemies are those black units in the top right corner of the map. Why is it flashing? Is it doing that? Yeah, I don't... Okay. Your goal is simple. Reclaim our land. Do that by capturing the enemy HQ or by defeating all enemy units. Move out and be careful not to let the enemy defeat your troops. Okay, a weird little visual glitch happening there. Okay, I'm ready to go. Rushing into battle only get beaten... Rushing into battle only to get beaten wins us nothing. Let's review some basic troop deployment first. First, use this cursor to give orders. Move it with the control pad here. Try giving orders to a unit. Move the cursor onto a unit and press the A button. That's an infantry unit. They have low firepower, but they're essentially they're essential to combat. What is this flashing going on? Hopefully this is, isn't a recurring thing. I, I don't know what, what this is all about. Now, do you remember what our goals are on this map? You bet. Get rid of all the bad guys or capture HQ. You did remember. Well done. Now, this is important. Only foot soldiers can capture properties. Of course, infantry units are a type of foot soldier. That's right. If I don't have any foot soldiers, I can't capture anything. Right. Now, don't forget, you can only capture enemy and neutral property. The capture command appears when you move an infantry unit onto these. Okay, let's move a unit. Did you notice how some of the spaces around that unit change color? That's the unit's movement ring. When you move, uh, when you finish moving a unit, the command menu will appear. Select wait if you have no further orders for that unit. Uh, okay. If I just, like... So far, it's only been with dialogue, which is... Okay, maybe it's, like, a tutorial thing. Oh, no, that's an APC unit. APCs have no attack capabilities. Oh, weak. Weak in combat, perhaps, but they're incredibly useful. They can load and transfer infantry units and supply your units. Load, huh? I don't get it, but it sounds useful. If you move entry units in onto APCs, the load command appears. When you uh, then use the drop command to unload those units, they are like just storage. I get it. Infantry units can move three spaces, but APCs can move six. I've got to give that a try. Be careful. Units that have been dropped can only be ordered to wait. Also, you can only drop units onto terrain they normally can traverse. Why is it? I might. Okay, I might have to break here and see why this is happening. Hold on. Okay. No joke, an hour later of searching, <laughs> finding this is an issue with this game um, for you know, emulating it or playing it 100% legitimately. Um, though I'm not, not gonna lie, I was one step away from pulling my Wii U out of my closet and downloading it off the eShop <laughs> to play it. That's how I played the original, because I got it off of, like, the Club Nintendo's closing free thing, right? Uh, Advance Wars was an option there. It was very close to just, all right, we'll do it again for Advance Wars 2. But finally found a fix. Uh, be careful, units that have been dropped can only be ordered to wait, also you can only drop units onto train they normally can traverse. If I dropped infantry in the sea, they might drown, huh? Okay, I won't forget. By the way, now, what supply? God, Andy. I don't remember Andy being this dumb in one. Maybe, maybe he was. My memory is terrible. But, God. Units lose both fuel and pri uh, primary weapon ammo as they fight. When they run out of primary weapon ammo, your units use weaker attacks. When they run out of gas, your units can't move. APCs can supply fuel and rounds to units in adjacent spaces. APCs automatically supply any nearby units at the start of each turn. However, you can use the supply command if you need supplies quickly. 
Okay. So, APCs are used to help out other units. Got it. Alright, now take a close look at the movement ring. Do you see how the APCs can't travel in the mountains? All units have a movement type, and this affects their movement costs. APCs move on treads like tanks, so they can't cross mountains or rivers. To see intel on units, select them and press the R button. How do I check which units can move in specific types of terrain? Place the cursor on the train and press the R button for intel. That was the L button. Uh, infantry, mech, air. Okay, cool. Treads. This is the turret movement range. It's treads allow it to, okay. Vision, fuel. Oh, okay, so treads, we do this. We see boot, we go here. Tread, got it. Cool. All right, uh, so wait, I need to go... Oh, I always wanna move the... Okay, so hold on, hold on. And, and we just got done reading the thing about it too, huh? Well, supply. Oh wait, no, I move on top of it, right? When you finish deploying all of your units, your turn's finished. Place the cursor in an empty space and press the A button. On the command menu, select N to complete your turn. Uh, options, yield, music, visual, we'll keep it all regular for now. That one was tough. Can I win with these units? Ah, this is where the fun starts. Hey, no, we're fighting the Black Hole Army, right? Yes. However, it isn't Sturm we're facing, it looks like another CO. I get the impression that whoever it is just wants to smash things. I mean, who doesn't? Let's be real. Well, he's not getting away with anything while I'm around. That's the spirit, I knew I could count on you. Now, let me give you some instructions on combat. The infantry under your command are, uh, here are direct combat units. Direct combat is when I move next to an enemy unit and attack, right? That's right, you're such a quick study. <laughs> After you attack, the enemy will always counterattack if possible. Damage units lose firepower though, so even if the enemy fires back, it's to your advantage to attack first. Okay, that and that's why I said this game, if you've never played it or seen it before, it is very offensive based. Because you want to attack at full power. Uh, so the defending retaliation, you're already starting at a deficit because they hit you first. Oh no, you're already weakened for your counterattack. So, my attacks reduce the enemy's HP and its attack strength. That means I take less damage. He who strikes first wins. Yup. Damage units will have an icon on them displaying their remaining HP. If their HP reaches zero, they'll vanish from the battle, so be careful. Move next to an opponent and fire will appear in the command menu. Select fire, confirm your target, and the combat will begin. Simple. Sure is. I'm itching. Get started. You see the window on the left? That's called the cursor intel window. The heart icon shows HP, the fuel tank shows remaining gas. If the unit has a primary weapon, the number of rounds left is shown. Uh, as a CO, it's your duty to be aware of your unit's conditions. So, it's... Yeah, okay, on top, not next to. Get on the road. Uh... Is it gonna be even really worth my time to use the APC here? Uh, it, it might. I mean, I could do it like an immediate walk and drop. Oh, I. <laughs> you know, I said defense is bad. This is why we're in a tutorial. Uh, I just spent an hour not playing the game. <laughs> Cut me some slack. Um, and then he's also on defensive terrain to make it even worse. Oh, I want to do this. Here we're on fire. Forty-five percent. So that is the damage percent. I should have paused on it a little more. I really like their bubble faces. 
They're really neat. But I might somehow manage to lose the tutorial off of that one placement. <laughs> That'll be a feat. God, I love the combat screens in Advance Wars. Um, yeah, fire, yeah, the damage, 40%. Uh, and it's not a hard percent, I'm pretty sure. I don't know the leeway, but like 40%, he has four HP, he should die. Keyword, should. But there's definitely a chance he won't. However, I'm gonna guarantee some damage over here before we are way too weak to really do anything about it. And seven to five. Okay, yeah, we just lost. Wow, okay. We're not dead yet. Keyword, yet. We'll still win with our last dude, but yeah, one wrong placement screwed my entire thing up. Uh, so I would say, can I, no, not the good, the good old fire emblem. Can I just mark, uh, I can see where he is. What am I hitting? B? Okay. That's... It's like, what, what was I hitting to do that? B is the quick, like, this is the firing area. Well, I'm gonna run down the road. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I don't think we're gonna lose this. Okay, he's gonna run him down. That's fine. It's normally, you know, again, this tutorial... There should be like a free S rank. I will probably redo this. Just again, I I don't wanna. Because again, there we go. If he hits me first, then I might actually screw everything up. Might actually lose, but there we go. He had six points, and we we had a 55. We killed a six. Uh, the Orange Star Army is here. I order you to surrender. You did it, Andy. This area has been liberated. Hmm. But it was kind of too easy. Yeah, I didn't struggle at all. I didn't do anything dumb. It was perfect play. Don't worry. I have a feeling that we're in for a whole slew of combat today. However, we celebrate your victory. Keep up the good work. Mission complete. Oh, they're so kind. They are so kind to people. That's bullshit when we all know it. <laughs> that absolutely was not a rank play. But I'll take it. That's just a taste of my skill. Clean up, seven days, point all, lose. I'm not sure what that's about. Now, is it gonna throw us right into save current data? Okay, I think this is where I probably am gonna stop each episode right when she asks to save, uh, cause I don't wanna accidentally start the next mission. Um, but there's a, what an intro to Advance Wars. Flickering issues, I got a break away for an hour, which it was a second for you guys. Come back, I get bodied because I wasn't paying attention. Welcome to Advance Wars. Hope you enjoy, <laughs> hope you're looking forward to seeing more. I'm actually really excited to play this. Um, actually, I, I think I, I had a question not too long ago, like, are you ever gonna do Advance Wars 2? I was like, yeah, I just don't know when. Now's when, let's go. Yeah, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.
Bye.